this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches. And in this video, this is not a yarn chat. I should turn this around. I'm opening up a swap box with Donna. Okay, so in the Facebook group, and it's a group, not a page, Summer's Tips and Stitches, um, Christy um, organizes swaps throughout the year. Now, um, we were doing them and are still doing them even though the coronavirus thing is going on. We're just asking that if you don't feel comfortable, don't participate in them. And if you do, make sure you take precautions with keeping, following the CDC recommendations because apparently the virus can stay live on objects for a certain amount of time. And so leaving the box sit out, whatever makes you feel comfortable sanitizing the items, wiping your hands after you touch them, wiping them off, whatever. Take your health in your hands. If you want to participate in them, Christy's still organizing them. So I was partnered with Donna, and she sent me some happy mail. Now, <clears throat> that poor gal, this box went all over heck and back before it came to Oshkosh. And so now I am going to open it up for you guys. The bottom of the box, I started to untape it because it was very thoroughly taped and I didn't want to have all that ruckus while I was um, opening this box for you guys. So we'll open it up. As you can see, she's got very pretty paper on top. I honestly saved this paper and put it in the birthday party box and um, use them for birthday party presents. <laughs> that is called true hoarding. Okay. Woo, I see some yarn right on top, y'all. Um, when you do a swap in our Facebook group with Summer Tips and Stitches, Christy partners you with someone. You get to know them. You email them. You chat with them. And then I send stuff to Donna. Donna sends stuff to me. And then a little while later, if Christy runs another one, she'll match you with someone different. So that's how we run them. <clears throat> or Christy. Okay, so... Both Donna and I said it was okay and that we were fine with sharing yarn from our stash. She was fine with it. I was fine with that. So I don't know what she bought and what was stash yarn. And so if she takes a picture and puts it in, a, and it puts it in our Facebook group, some of that stuff was stash yarn. So the first thing I see on top is Stitch S Studio by Nicole Bamboo. This is a weight three yarn. It's super duper soft and it's called Marvelous Mint. Ooh, and it's like a variegated white, gray, and mint. So I have two of those. Let's move my, move my stuff over. Oh, and here's the card. Right there. It says, may the Lord repay you for what you've done, Ruth 212. Thank you for sharing your crochet yarn knit with all of us. We all appreciate it, and I am most thankful for the wonderful friends I've met because of you. Oh, thank you. I hope you like what I picked for you. These are some of her favorite yarns. And then, of course, I hope my family and I are well. You guys, my family and I are well. And um, in a little while, I can update you guys on how things are going with Flynn. Because some of you know, Flynn has been having some health problems and things are doing better. Okay, so also I got some Karen Simply Soft. These are my favorite colors. And look, y'all. It looks like it matches pretty nicely with this. That might be a nice little treat. And then some school stickers. It's always fun to shop for a teacher, isn't it? Because kids love this stuff. Very nice. And ooh, some old fashioned hard candies. Natural herbal flavors. Fat free and gluten free. That will be nice. We have now, and we're kind of talking a little about it, um, maybe moving to be a gluten-free family because of Flynn. And a shopping bag, one of these. Look at that, that's cute, huh? Little red boots. Gotta have a nice big project bag. And I'll tell you what, so many of my project bags have been stolen by the kids to carry stuff to and from school. I don't know if you, any of you others have that s situation. Um, Memorial Day swap. Maybe you can use these on July 4th. So some cute little, you know, those patriotic bows. Very nice. Put those with the stickers. 
some hand towels ooh, with some s sunflowers on them. And then there's um, yellow ones. Are there yellow? So that's very nice. I actually was just thinking about getting some more hand towels. Did you see that, honey? He's over there on his computer, nerding it up over there. He'll be happy that we have some more hand towels. And then here is another um, Memorial Day, 4th of July thing, decoration. Put that over there. And now look at this. This is cotton colors from Loops and Threads. Look in here. It's not just peaches. Look at that. There's something else in there. I wonder how deep you can dig. Ooh, there's another different color in there. This is called Sherbert Sorbet. I like it. And it's a cotton. Let's see what kind of cotton content is it. I have a hard time seeing late, you guys. Oh, it's 100% cotton. I need to go to the eye doctor. Oh, and here's another one. Whoa. And let me tell you the yards now that I got the second one. 394 yards, yo. That's a lot. I've never seen this yard. Now, I don't go to Michael's very often, which I think um, Donna must have known. Because here in Oshkosh, we've got Joann's, Hobby Lobby, and Walmart. And so I don't have a lot of the loops and thread threads and the Michael's yarn. <clears throat> And here is some Baby Lulu yarn. Um, this is Baby Bee yarn. I'm going to keep it in this package because it makes it easier for storing and hoarding when you have them in the package. This is um, Colorway Aqua. And it is 62% polyamide, 38% acrylic, and 259 yards. So very nice. There's Ooh, it's super soft. I was just going to say, feel it. You would like to, but you can't. Sorry, you guys. So there's four of these. You know what? These are a lot of these are, I have like a lot of blues, but I don't have a lot of the soft aqua. Okay, and what does she have here? These guys were feeling very lonely all alone. They wanted to be in your stash with their siblings. And here's some more, oh, soft and shiny. And a Karen Simply Soft. Now it looks like this soft and shiny kind of has a Karen Simply Soft look to it. I'm gonna touch it. Yes, it does. This is similar to a Karen Simply Soft. Actually, it kind of reminds me of baby yarn bees like Karen Simply Soft. Because you can see it has more of that twist to it. This is in the colorway Poison Apple. And it has. 311 yards. This is sunshine yellow and it is 315 yards. And here's a Kobu. One of my favorite types of yarn that I've started hoarding up over here. But I don't have any white yet. Excellent. And Kobu, for those of you who don't know, is a bamboo cotton blend and it is a weight three. And there's 232 yards on these. The other really awesome thing about the Kobu yarn is it's approved for knitted knockers. And guess what? You can crochet knockers too. It's just knitted knockers sounds cuter, right? And that's where you make um, prosthetic or slip-ins that you can put for those who are breast cancer folks. So thank you for the Kobu. And I agree, this would feel very nice to have tucked, you know, next to your skin. And here is another, oh my gosh, Barcelona. And I almost think that I gave her one of my Barcelonas. These are the same too. You guys, look at that. Now I've got two of the same color. Amazing. This one is Hazel. And it's a bulky weight yarn, so these are going to be great for hats and scarves. Um, I bet you you can make Laurel's Big Button Cowl with these. And um, how many yards? 328. So I'm going to put that right away with my loops and thread, threads, or my big bulky ones. Tuck it in there. Okay. Ooh, and she made me handmade crochet goodies. Oh, you guys, she made me something. I never make anybody something. I should start doing that. This, 
You guys, this is made, this has to be made with that yarn that I didn't buy at um, the Dollar Tree. It's like a dish scrubby. I wonder if she held something with it. It looks like she held it with a thread. So Trisha in my Facebook group, her Dollar Tree also had it. It was in pink and purple. This is perfect. I feel like this would do a really good job cleaning the dishes. And then I hate to take this off. I'm going to save this label. I'm going to save it and use it for someone else. Type it over there. And a, a matching dishcloth. And she knitted it. Do you see that? She knitted this one. <clears throat> Knitting is really hard, y'all. Um, I can crochet practically with my eyes closed and watch a movie. I cannot knit hardly at all. And then here is some new yarn that I've never had before. Lion Brand. And it's in a cute little package. There's these three colors. It's called True Boo. And let's see here. True Boo is, a, is rayon from bamboo. 100%. And these are 240 yards. This is the colorway silver. This is the colorway. I can't see it. Bunny, how are you doing, buddy? Want to pull, pop in and say hi? Sea foam. There he is. And this is the colorway thistle. Ooh. So I don't know, what does rayon from a bamboo mean? I'm gonna have to look that up. I might just poke my finger in here and feel these. Because if this is like cotton, I don't know. Brandon, can you look that up for me? <gasps> it's super soft. Can you look up what is what does it mean when it says it's rayon from bamboo? Oh my gosh, you guys, I would say feel this. This is super soft. Feel that, Flynn. Isn't that amazing? What would I make out of it? Wow. A blanket. Yeah. The kids love it when I make them blankets. And then she got me, she put everything in plastic bags. That's so thoughtful of her. For your kiddos, don't meet me. So here's some candy for the kiddos. Thank you. They'll love that. Tuck that in here with this other candy. And the last thing here, the other major love of a teacher and crocheters I found, which gives me, excuse me while I pick up, are some notebooks. This says, we live in full bloom. And then, oh, I love this one. It's a magnet one. I'm not going to hang this on the fridge at home. I'm going to hang this up at school on my filing cabinet. Oh, I love it. You, um, Donna, this is an amazing swap. Thank you so much. And it was definitely worth the wait for um, it to travel all over Wisconsin <laughs> before it came to Oshkosh. It really wasn't so bad because I was on vacation visiting my sister. And so I didn't have to really wait too long. Now, you guys, first I'll say thank you so much, Donna. It's a very lovely swap. The colors are beautiful. Yarns are either my favorite with Karen and Kobu or some things I've never tried before. And I'm very happy about this dish stuff. Thank you. Now, you guys, because I visited my sister, I made a video with her. Yay! And so, um, we, I'm going to need my husband to help edit it. Because we had to, like, tag team record it. Um, because our husbands were out shopping or doing something. And it was just her and I and our six kids. We each have three kids. And so um, she would hold in videotape and then I would hold in videotape and sometimes it got shaky and then one point I didn't realize it was recording. So he's gonna need to edit it. But I interviewed her about her craft because um, she makes, remember, she makes these beautiful necklaces and she um, talked about her craft space. So she actually used to have a sauna. That's how Scandinavians say it. Or as you regular folks say, a sauna in her basement and when she had her husband remove the sauna they bought a whole bunch of uh, stuff from Ikea and made her a cute little organized craft space and so I we kind of went through it what kind of stuff does she have in her craft space and where did she get it that video is gonna be a long description box video 
because I told you all in the video that I would put links to where you can get all the stuff she has. So if you have a million dollars and want to design yourself an Ikea office space, you would be able to. <clears throat> so um, her crafting space is smaller than mine, but can I tell you guys, she has just really gotten into making the rosaries and these necklaces. And so because she's kind of new, her space is small. All you, all you lifetime crafters know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna guarantee in a few years, her crafting space is gonna be a lot bigger, right? Because I mean, I used to be on the other side over there with one table and one of these shelves. Now I have one, two, three tables, because y'all don't know, I have another table on the other side now. I'll show you in another video. And then I have two of these shelves, and then I have a shelf over here. And then I got a bunch of shenanigans shoved under that table. Let's we'll see if you guys can see. See that down there? Whoa! So, it was a very nice video. I'm, my husband's gonna have to work on editing with me, and we'll get that out. So that will have to come after this. I'm gonna try to release this right away today, and today is June, I don't know what day it is, June something. June, tw June, do you know what date it is, anybody know? What? Do you know the date? 15, 16, 17, 18? 6, 17. 17, maybe it's the 17th. So it's June 17th, so I'm gonna try to get this video out right away so Donna can see how happy and thankful I am for her wonderful, thoughtful gift. My husband doesn't know it yet, but he's gonna be very thankful too because she got us stuff for our kitchen. And he was just saying the other day, we don't have enough towels in here. He didn't say it like that though. That's me mocking him. Okay, you guys, thank you, Donna. And get ready to see my sister's craft space. It's gonna be so amazing. And thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.